Pi. So like, I kind of want to acknowledge some things. You know, as our Christian metal band has matured over time, and we have the members that we currently do, we are doing a number of things that are not necessarily Christian metal, but yeah, we all wanted to do Christian metal, and we all do Christian metal. We, we, we go to bars, and we go to churches, and we go play at people's houses, birthday parties and stuff, but one of the biggest things is that we just want to be something new that the church doesn't necessarily offer in regards to religious Christianity. Regardless, I am um, at Steve's and we are setting up for an event tomorrow that was completely planned by ear and it should have been more planned than it is But we are working with what we're working with anyways We got a right to a downtown little gravel patch of land between two strips Um, and we're going to be setting stuff up there and doing I don't know. I guess we're just jamming there We're kind of just making this public event uh, out of nowhere, no one knows about it. And honestly, I doubt that it'll even get really big. We are just setting up, we're discussing, we're gonna jam, we don't even know what songs we're gonna play. But I just wanna make this vlog just to show you guys like, you know, this is kind of the things to do as a Christian metal band. It's like 100 degrees in this car, I don't even know why I'm in it. Um, but regardless, I just wanted to say that. So I'm gonna probably film around and show you guys what we're doing. You just burnt your finger. Yeah, hey, dude, look at that. Just now. Like, oh, you know what you do? In Jesus' pray. name, yep. be healed. Thank you, God. We love you. Light. Light this off. Well, with Very unamused. I've never that's made a, a hat. Good. Like, I'm dude. kind of excited to make a hat. <laughs> yeah, let's all make hats. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Hard. You see that little rainbow in the sky right there? Little rainbow refraction going on. Oh, I see it. In middle of daylight, no storm. Uh, where did Jermaine come from? I have no clue. Okay, so yeah, I thought we were gonna play here. We're not. We're actually playing right here. Plus, there we go. Hold on, let me see. Fortune, we got all these things, we chase after them. And when we get there, when we climb the mountain, when we get to the top, we realize we're empty. Amen. We're not fulfilled. Amen. Money doesn't fulfill. Sex, drugs, none of that stuff, man. It's Jesus. What? He offers us a new life. Golgotha is the place where you come to die to get a new life. What did Jesus do? He healed, he helped, he fed, he taught, and what did they do to him? They crucified him. So my message is do not grow weary in doing good, my friends. Keep doing what is right, for in due time you will reap a harvest. You will reap a reward. It is coming. It is coming.
So yeah, the filming wasn't honestly that great, so I just kind of just showed you a little snippet. I just want to, you know, I was, I'm like debating on whether I should make this a separate video or not, and I'll probably just make a separate video outside of this, but I actually want to just read something from Jeremiah chapter 9 really quick. God says this, A time is coming, says the Lord, when I will punish those who are circumcised in the body but not in spirit. The Egyptians, the Edomites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the people who live in the desert in remote places, and yes, even the people of Judah. And like all these pagan nations, the people of Israel also have uncircumcised hearts. So when I read this passage, it smacked me in the face as hard as a Bible passage could. I didn't even know what it meant. I did my homework. I'll probably talk about that in another video on like what that theologically means. But for right now, what, a, what an uncircumcised heart really is, is when you look like an example of a Christian. When you look like you're doing things, but you're actually just serving yourself, you're not actually serving God, you're even serving other people, but you're not actually serving God. And you're doing things because you think it's cool or because you want to, and it's your own agenda, but it's actually not God's destiny for you. So that being said, I am a part of a Christian metal band. I am an outcast. I am a weirdo. I am a misfit. And I'm going to be reaching out to all sorts of different kinds of people. I am called to not just one subculture of people, but I'm called to many people. So that being said, God really put me in, into this place to really like examine what I'm doing. Is it really for the Lord or is it because I think it's cool that I'm in a metal band? Or, you know, or am I making dubstep because it's cool or is it really adding to the kingdom of God? I know that there's an actual ministry going on with Golgotha. I know that there is a true heart to share the gospel and to reach out to people that would never step foot into a church. So that's exactly what we're doing. And so that being said, I just want to ask everyone out there, you have dreams, you have visions, you have desires. The thing is, weigh them. Let them be tested by fire. When when you are really surrounded to the Lord, what is coming out of you? What is your anointing? What is your calling? What is your destiny? You will know when everything is surrendered to God and what is singing out of you, what you see, how you can add to the kingdom of heaven, when you have the desires of Jesus flowing throughout you onto the world, coming out of your mouth, what your desires are there. That is the closest that I could physically express on, yeah, you know that you're actually doing the will of God. God will tell you to surrender things. And whether he gives them back to you or not, that's not up to you, that's up to him. And whatever he has for you, it's your destiny, it's your good plan. I have handed over all of my hobbies, all of my music, all of my art and all those things. And when God gives them back to me, they're even more blessed, more anointing, and I'm able to do more with it. So I'm gonna end this video with asking you this one question. Is your heart circumcised? Is your heart surrendered? Is it really to serve the Lord or is it to serve your own desires? I love you guys, God bless you, and just keep strong, keep seeking Jesus, and know that no matter who you are, you are made of something that is in the image of God, and it's good, and it adds to the kingdom of heaven, and that is the only good thing to seek for. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys, peace.